Approved Los Angeles County EMTs can now assess blood glucose in cases of suspected diabetic emergency. Measuring the concentration of glucose in the blood can help guide treatment for diabetic patients for EMTs and paramedics. Here's a demonstration following the steps as outlined in the Los Angeles County skill sheet. Now that I've completed my thorough assessment and determined that my patient meets the indication for a blood glucose check, I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff together and we're going to go to the skill. The materials I'm going to need for this skill include my glucometer, my test strips, a lancet, an alcohol swab, a 4x4 gauze sponge, and an adhesive bandage. Once I have all my equipment ready, I'll explain the procedure to the patient. I'll turn on my glucometer and place the patient's hand in a dependent position for 10 to 15 seconds. Then I'll take the patient's finger and clean it using aseptic technique using the alcohol swab. Using the lancet now, I will puncture the lateral aspect of the finger. Once a blood drop forms, I will wipe that blood drop away using the gauze pad. If needed, I can squeeze the finger gently to form another drop of blood on the finger. Once a second blood drop is formed, I will apply the blood to the glucometer test strip. While the glucometer processes, I'll apply the adhesive bandage to the patient's finger and make sure to place the lancet in a sharps container. I'm going to note the reading on my glucometer. And based on that reading, I'm going to decide if there are any interventions I need to make within my scope before the paramedics arrive. Once I'm done with my skill, I will dispose of my materials. Now you know how to assess a blood glucose level during a diabetic emergency.